Hi, I'm Maria from Afghanistan. I've been in China for almost eight years, seven of those years in Shijiazhuang, one of the most populous city in Hebei province, also known as Guajizhuang and Tianxia Dijuang. As a former pharmacy student back home, I was always eager to explore different perspectives of healthcare and engage with the diverse ethnic culture and traditions here in China. After completing my bachelor's in clinical medicine at Hebei Medical University, which currently is celebrating its 130th anniversary this year, I started having a keen interest in exploring the relationship between the mental and physical health particularly in the context of psychosomatic diseases, which my focus is on researching anxiety disorders. When I first thought of coming to China, I admit, images of Jiggy Chen and Jit Li doing some incredible martial art tricks came to my mind. Initially, I was curious about Taiji and Baduan Jin due to their deep roots in Chinese culture. Taiji often seen as a gentle form of exercise, actually aligns closely with Chinese medicine philosophies. For me, Tai Chi Chuan and Baduan Jeans are not just physical exercises, but they also offer mindfulness and inner peace. Tai Chi Chuan's slow and steady movements helps to reduce stress and center the thoughts. Some may consider Western medicine and traditional Chinese medicine having different ideologies and methodologies, but we can find a balance between these two. Western medicine always offers a relief for the symptoms, immediate relief, while the traditional Chinese medicine actually gonna help for the long-term health. Learning Taiji Chuan and Baduan Jin actually helped me to understand that it's not all about how you treat your symptoms, but it's also about how you maintain your health for the long run. That it actually helps you to connect your mind and body together, and it's a way of mindfulness and inner peace. I also like to explore the traditional and cultural spots in the city. One of my go-to destinations in the city is Jiangdin Ancient City Wall. Walking along the city walls makes me experience the Chinese traditional architectures up close. Surrounded by beautiful gates, pagodas and ancient temples feel like a step back in time, away from hustle of city life. A perfect place for foreigners, those who are interested in exploring the city historical route. I have also come to appreciate tea drinking here in China, which has its own deep cultural significance. Funny thing, when I arrived to China, I saw everyone carrying their own stash of hot water. They didn't realize that one day I'm gonna carry my own. Now I'm used to it. In Afghanistan, we drink tea a lot throughout the day, and that's what makes me a tea person. We have a variety of tea, like black tea, green tea, same as China. And it's a symbol of hospitality that helps people to gather together and enjoy some time together. But in China, the tea ceremony known as Gong Fu Cha is a form of art. Each step is crafted from the temperature of the water to pouring the tea. And that makes it not just a drink. If serendipity hadn't led me to China, I would be probably still pursuing my medical career somewhere else, probably back home my path would have been totally different from where I am now. So I appreciate the experience that I've had here, from learning the language to immersing myself in Chinese culture. This is Maria, Shijiazhuang, Hebei, China.